Parish Leader. I am a designer, artist, and art licensor. And today I want to share with you my art licensing story. My husband, Benjamin Hummel, who is also an artist, and I have a craft design and illustration studio called Chair Solutions. It is located at the foot of the beautiful Rocky Mountains in Colorado. And we are privileged because we get to work with manufacturers and publishers, offering unique graphic solutions and illustrations to meet their product, production, and marketing needs. Cherish Solutions has three in-house art licensing brands, Something to Cherish, Painting for Life, and Ben Cherish. Something to Cherish is a warm and whimsical illustration style that combines the two traditional art forms of watercolor and hand embroidery in a fresh and fun way. Painting for Life is a more realistic painting style that promotes the joy of life in a nostalgic yet lighthearted manner. Ben Cherished is a children's book illustration style where myself and my husband Benjamin Hummel co-illustrate images for children's books and other child-oriented products. All three brands, their names, serve as reminders that life and loved ones are precious. They should be celebrated and cherished for always. I first learned about the concept of art licensing when I was down in Santa Fe at an art marketing conference in 2003 and I had the privilege of taking a couple classes with Michael Woodward, the author of Art Licensing 101. Um, from there, I continued to take classes with Charles Phelps and later eventually uh, learned more from Jeanette Smith and Tara Reed. So an interesting thing happened as I started to learn about the world of art licensing and the fact that artists didn't have to sell out all rights when they created artwork, that they could actually license rights or use on a limited basis. I was then asked to come and work for a company called Tehama, which is actually Clint Eastwood's golf apparel company. And from there, I learned the ins and outs of the apparel business and licensing and buying art, creating art. I learned how to do repeats and create original artwork for all sorts of different types of products. So as just being a part of the company, I got to learn about how the licensing process works in a very realistic way. Well, I really enjoyed working with a team of designers that I was privileged to work with at Tehama. It was also um, not my calling, and I had a burning desire inside of my heart that I needed to create something original, something that was truly me. So as I continued to learn about art licensing, um, I was encouraged to check into CHA and Surtex licensing show. And just at some point, I decided I was going to quit my job and go out and do art licensing full time. And so that was a huge uh, leap of faith. When I left, I did not have a company name. I did not have an art style that I stood behind 100%. And I really had no clue what I was going to do. So that was uh, very scary and exciting. But it, it propelled me forward. And I signed up to exhibit uh, the first year at CHA in 2008. And from there, I was, I was just forced to put it together and I created uh, my brand called Something to Cherish. I was just working in watercolors and I had been had some time off so I started taking up embroidery again and I thought one day that I could combine this together. I think the first year of exhibiting at an international licensing show was probably the best thing that I ever did for my business because it really taught me that there was a true demand for the style that I came up with and that I have to offer the world. So it, that was very encouraging and we've continued, we've, we've exhibited two more times and don't see it stop any time in the future because we've been able to meet wonderful partners in our licensing field and we're going to have new, new products coming out this year that are really going to be exciting. So that is one cool thing about art licensing is seeing your artwork on product and, and uh, for us we really want to be on product that serves as a reminder for people to stop and really take the time to 
understand how important my family is and understand that uh, life is for precious and you need to cherish every moment. One thing that I would encourage all of you to do if you are still new to art licensing or if you're interested in licensing artwork for your company is to check out artoflicensing.com. It is an online group of, of artists, manufacturers, art licensing professionals, agents, lawyers that are there to network and to teach each other about art licensing. So check that out if you want to learn more. Thank you again for taking the time to listen to my art licensing story. I hope it was inspiring and I look forward to connecting with you at some point soon.